guys, welcome back to OP Mission. And for those of you who are new to the channel, I'm OP, I'm an animator in the video games industry. And in this video series, we're gonna be sharing a full in-game jump animation that I've done for my Skillshare course that you can check out on Skillshare. It should, it probably be out in a couple of weeks. So there's some other courses on there that you can check out at the moment, but eventually I'll be getting seven out. So we've got the run, idle, walk, jump, combat idle, attack, and take hit. So this is just to give a taster of what actually we do in the industry. So I wanted to do an in-game series, series of animation sets that I've done in the past. You know, every company is different, they have different sets, but just to give you an idea so that you're a bit prepared for when you get into the industry, what to expect. So without further ado, this is more of a thank you for the thousand subscribers from last week. So I want to give this away and just, you know, there's extra stuff on the course that you can check out, but this is the main body of the course. So it's going to be the blocking, splining and polishing, bringing the animation up. Okay, so without further ado, let's dive in and let's check out the blocking. All right, guys, so this is the model we're going to be using. Goku, the classic. And I just looked at some reference. So I was thinking I picked up some reference and this is the two poses. I think so what I've done I've just mm, done the first pose idle pose and then the apex when it goes up in the air we'll do it as this one because I think it'd be a good contrast because we've got this going we've got these hips that way and this the op opposing way so it'd be a nice little uh, contrast and then when he lands we'll have him landing like this way and then hop so we'll land the opposite way to this, but then we'll hop back into this pose. Okay, so what we'll do first, we'll get the poses in. So there's different ways of doing it. You can do pose to pose, but um, what I'll do is I'm going to do it on every frame and then stretch it out and play with the timing. But this is just the original, this is just the posing. So as you can see the posing, I just want to make sure, you know, all the fingers are posed nicely there, you know, coming up. And... Uh, I want it to follow like this nice line here, you know, and also, you know, we want to get a nice line like coming through like this and then this way. So just like a little bit, just a dynamic pose, right? And also here is kind of coming down. And that's what I was trying to get with this. Obviously I can't go could go too down, I don't want to break the back. I could lean it forward a bit more, but that's the kind of pose I was going for. All right, so always good to have reference. Reference is important. Okay, so we've got that all, the pose down, so you can just play around. The rig is very simple, you know, you can play around with the rig. Might just push it back there, actually. That's all fine. Just make sure the character's in balance. So all you're trying to do, get it good silhouette as well. They bit more dynamic there, isn't it? That's the knee control, so you can just bring that in a bit if you want. Be just slightly forward. Okay, okay. So first thing we'll do, just take your. I normally take my time with the pose and get it right. Seems all right. From there. That's fine. Okay. So that's like a ready dynamic pose, right? Key that in the next frame, because the legs are quite apart, so or well, the next frame, actually, what we'll do, we need to do anticipation, right? So it needs to come down. So we need to come down. And also slight rotation.
Yeah, slowly, slightly rotation. And the upper area too. Just playing around with the controls there, sorry about that. Move this kind of in. So it's the energy is building up, so we're moving the arm slightly in. Even the shoulders are moving to bring the head down slightly. So there's a bit of that anticipation, right? Now what we want to do is select everything, key it, move this frame just out here a bit. I just want to see which frame I want to favor, this one. Number four, so I just put a key there. Put that back. Oops, put that back to there one and bring that back. So we've got that kind of anticipation there. Oh, the textures are messed up. So I'll just go to Hypershade. And in Hypershade, you can just, just come here. It says Texture 3. So let's check out Texture 3. Should be all right there. Yeah, it's come back. Okay, so we've got that right. Okay, so we've got that pose there. And then the next pose, because the legs are far apart, we want to bring this up. We just zero this out. Just zero all these out. Okay, so what we'll do this one, we'll make it. We'll do it so this leg comes up. This leg back. So this leg is up. To straighten this one. Zero all these translations just so we're working cleanly and then you can kind of do a little arch in the back maybe bring this Zero the head. Let's bring that up. Zero the shoulders out. Even the arms. Bring the shoulders back 
because we want that we want it to force the jump right push it back yeah can leave that finger pose like that looks cool they're going up Okay, so I'll just select everything there, keep that. Might rotate that like that. And the next pose will be the apex. So I'll just find that pose. So we're going to be doing this one. So let's check that out. So we'll, what we'll do, we'll step the pole back to foot control. Move it up. But then there's going to be a rotation, right? So we're going to do like a force rotation like that. Move this down. This out. This is like proper, proper bent. Then we've got a waist coming like this. This rotation, because it's really trying to fire out something from the neck. The neck, straighten that up. Then the face, we want to bring it kind of down to the side but he's like concentrating and shooting and then the shoulder we can bring in a bit bring that up round here so he's flexing this bring it in and out Just bring this up a bit so he's flexing that. And then here. He's just straight shooting love, shooting it out. Now that and then upward. There. Okay. Just want to make it a bit more stronger.
that out a bit. There. So it's got a kind of like a powerful, powerful pose, but we want to move the hand in a bit like that so it's a bit straighter there. So we've got that there. But what we want to do, we want to move this out a bit and bring it in. Not too happy with that. Maybe bring it in a bit so it's a bit closer. Yeah, that's better. Let's bring it in a bit. Okay. Now, first thing I'll do is save. Now, key that. And then what I want to do, I want to hold that. So I'll just bring this out a bit. So I'll be like, all right. What fray? What should we do? Hold it from here. And it comes up here. Number eight. Yeah. Key number eight. Move that. Move that back. So it'll be like, ooh. Up. And then, up. And then what we're going to do is, Then it's going to come down, but this foot is going to come down. So this one will come down first. As you're coming down, let's land this one first forward. Zero that out. This can be in the air a bit. It's just about coming down. Delay it. can raise these and the arms we can just So it's just raising as it's coming. Okay. You could have it have it like that. So the heel lands. There.
back it's on the spot so we have it back a bit so we get there then this is on the floor zero so let's zero that out Pose right. Should grab that forward a bit and out. Pose this out so it's crouching. Okay, so this we can copy to number seven, so we know, all right, that's where the foot's going to land. And then maybe we could just have it come up like this. Oh, where's it gone? Is there a stretch? Yeah, there is a stretch. Let's put that to one. Let's go to stretch. And let's delete the keys before because we key on everything. So we can do like a stretch. Right? We can break the rules a bit. Why not? Because it's going to be quick, right? So let's see how this is. Lands. So he's landed. Bang. Comes down. Bring these in a bit. So he's like ready. So we key that. So it goes bang, bang, down, bang. So it takes it. We can sort out the. We're just getting the center of gravity working first. So then his spine compresses a bit more. Face comes down. Let the arm slightly just take in the impact. Right, and then up. Then he jumps up, turns, Turns and these both feet in the air. But we want, we want them the opposite way, right? So we've got both feet in the air. And then the torso is starting to move.
And what we'll do, we'll just copy that last pose. And then we'll move that out and have a look. So let's say around 13 or 14, I would say. 13, yeah. Move that in. So we've just, so we've just got a blocking we can work with. Comes down and then up. Even this up, it could even be a little hole there. Number 13, move that there, middle clip. And then we could even delay that cop middle click, copy to 10. So there's a bit of delay, but that's the main, that's the main kind of pose that we have, poses we have, yeah? So that's the blocking. So this is what we'll be working with. So we want it, we want it to go up, anticipation, up, holes, and then down. And then that stretch will be we'll flesh it all out so it looks nice we'll add the breakdowns in this is the key poses we're putting in right done okay so in the next video we will start spreading it out and then uh, adding keyframes working the timing adding breakdowns sorry working with the timing to get it looking good adding all that secondary stuff then obviously polishing the hair we'll do all that but that's way later on all right, guys, so this is the posing out of the way, and then we'll start breaking it down. I'll see you in the next video. Hey, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. So the next video, we'll be explaining it out and just smoothing everything and then trying to get the timing right. And then we'll start maybe fixing poses here and there as well. If you know how it is when we spline. You can you can kind of lose a few few of those key poses as well. So we'll just we'll meticulously go over that and just try and get everything working right. And then we'll start polishing it. So in the meantime, happy animating, have fun, and do one activity a day. Could be walk, run, whatever, just something that you enjoy doing. Get out there instead of sitting on the couch, you know, just have a little walk around. Sometimes it's good to get your eye off the screen, to get some fresh eyes back on later. You know, you can spot other things as well. So that's a really good thing to do to just get away from the screen. All right, guys, so I'll see you in the next video.